All right, we've got student athletes, Austin Reed and Derek Smith. Feel free to ask them any questions here. You know, Austin, it seemed like the ball was moving a little bit better in the first half, especially the second quarter. It seemed like that's when they had more success. I guess what do you see as the biggest difference between you know first half and second half? Uh, things were just clicking in the second quarter. Well, we were calling really good plays. Things were rolling. Uh, just unfortunately, second half we just never got in a groove. Had a couple drives, had a couple mishaps. You know, stuff on my part. You know, that that last interception just down by 17, trying to make something happen. I don't regret throwing that ball. You know, I'm not going to sit there and take a sack on third down. We're down by 17. That's not my nature. I'm going to try and go score. And if that means I get another pick on my stat line, I don't care. So there was another one earlier in the half. That's on me. But uh, just things weren't clicking. Things weren't rolling. It just I you know, guess on that uh, fumble when that it looked like the crown pitched the ball, I guess what did you see kind of breaking down that play? Oh, uh, just bad pitch relationship. You know, just and that's probably just a repetition thing. You know, and then it's on me. And even if the even if the pitch relationship's not good, I got to get the ball there. So unfortunate. Uh, I feel like maybe we just haven't repped it enough in practice. But then I still got to pitch it to him. But yeah, so it's on me. Also, you know, on, I mean, on offense, there was. Some drop balls, like highly contested drop balls that happen in a game. I mean, with, on defense, there was some missed tackles and stuff like that. How would you say that you would like to offset that in order to, on offense, just to make those catches in order to take kind of like the stress off defense? Because it seems like offense is kind of on and off the field. Defense is on the field a lot longer, and it just kind of puts a strain on them just a little bit. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's a little bit of the nature of the two offenses playing against each other. Uh, Auburn's going to run the ball a ton, so they're going to be on the field a lot longer. Um, we're going to throw the ball a lot, so there's going to be incompletions, and that means the clock's not going to run as long. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you're playing in the SEC. It's going to be every, every catch is going to be contested. Those dudes are flying around. Uh, they're going to be able to run the ball, but, I mean, I'm not putting any blame on any receivers or on the defense or anything like that. At the end of the day, collectively as a team, we just didn't do what we needed to do to win this game. Yeah, going to halftime, Todd, I guess, you know, that last drive to you know, even things up on him. I guess what was kind of the move at that point? We was fired up, you know. Um, we was ready to get back out there. We you know we had you know, uh, we had been in this situation before. Uh, we you know we had to come at halftime rolling. Well, I feel like we started fast halftime, right after halftime, but you know. You know, Derek, their run game is obviously really good. You know, they get behind and then they do a great quarterback. Um, you know, I guess how much does that kind of you know wear on the defense as the game kind of progresses? And what makes them so you know good at what they do? Uh, I feel like a lot of the plays that did hit was from um, when we had uh, some missing assignments. So, uh, but when we were, everybody was doing their job, I feel like everything was shut down. Too, so. I mean, even despite the loss, like, what, what was the experience for you all being able to come here and play in this type of atmosphere, especially like late in the season? Yeah, I mean, it was a blessing. Uh, I mean, a year ago, around this time, I was in Livingston, Alabama, playing the University of West Alabama. And now I'm here in Auburn playing against Auburn. And I can't thank anyone else but the Lord for providing me with that opportunity. It's a blessing to be able to play in games like this. It's hard when you feel like you're in games like this and you possibly could have won them. Uh, but at the end of the day, I just thank God that I was able to go play football another day in an environment like this and have a chance to play in the games like this. Things that, Mr. You know, I know it's late in you know, your 12 games in now, still one regular season game now. You know, what do you learn from this heading into next week at Boca with, you know, you still have to take care of your own, um, you know, business and, and hopes of getting to where you guys want to be? Um, we still got an opportunity to play football, so, you know, uh, we got to prepare for next week, uh, get better, and um, to bring it, you know. Still got an opportunity to play, you know, not everybody get a chance to play football again, like, anything happens. Anything else to be soon? Thanks, guys.